Hey guys, welcome back to BNC MAP. Today we're B and C and G in. Oh my god. B squared. B squared. So I should have started with that. B, B squared. squared yeah. N C N G M A P. Okay, that makes sense. There's a lot of like E N. We have e Bree and, and Grace oh. on with us today. You know them. You love them. I talk about them probably once <laughs> every. I would say bi-monthly. As you should. Oh, wow. Every, bi-weekly, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Once I every really, other uh, week. I, I talk about you a lot. Yeah. I talk about you. I, I write about you in my journal. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you journaling? It's Are Valentine's you... Day, and I wrote a big, <laughs> a big to-do. <laughs> Brooke as well. Brooke as oh, well. Oh, Grace, thank you. You didn't have to do that. It is so nice to finally meet you. Spiritually. It's so nice to finally meet you. This have is my met first... you? No. Because you came on my podcast a long time ago, Yeah, right? like 2020, but Zoom. Yeah, that was weird. I'm and sorry. That, oh, my God. That was not weird. That was my first ever. I didn't know what I was doing. I had literally no idea what I was doing. I was obsessed with you. Still am. But I was like, oh. Brooke, come on the podcast. Come on the podcast. It and was she came beautiful. on, and I was like, Brooke, I'm so proud of you. Oh my god! No, so I feel weird. like I was like completely mute. Yeah, we were both we we're mute on yeah. the podcast. Just staring at each other. It was such a other. fun time though. 2020. Oh my god! Love. You're home alone or with yeah. everyone you've ever known. Not we really didn't anyone. appreciate it though. Yeah, no. It feels good to be not sad. that like I want a pandemic at all, of course, but like just to like I have a little if shutdown. That would want it. It would be you. Well, I can't <laughs> say that publicly, of course. <laughs> I like a force like stay in your house and don't feel bad about it okay yeah on the way here we we were um hoping and praying for a giant an earthquake. earthquake yeah yeah yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here for the earthquake last week no we wish we, wish. we, we want one today so that we don't have to um keep working yeah that's we can fair yeah. mm -hmm. last and it's week, not that we're lazy it's just we've been no, going you've been going yeah. i don't know how you girls do it uh-uh we when you're dead baby girl uh -huh. I, you've always said that <laughs> you've always said that problem yeah you so you don't really sleep, right? No, actually, no, never. Yeah, I sleep like most most of the time. That's so I spend lovely. sleeping. I love that. We should no, make you Friday. No, but sometimes I feel bad. Like you're right. Mm. Like I can sleep when I'm dead, and I will <laughs> sleep when I'm dead. I'm sure, but like I'm also sleeping a lot while I'm alive. Yeah, we should moderate it. We should. Mm. Yeah, there's got to be a happy both of us. Yeah. Like a yeah. like an induced coma would be <sighs> cool, yeah. and I think that we're all kind of getting to that point where it's like. You want a big earthquake. Mm -hmm. You want a really long nap. Mm -hmm. I want like yeah. a cold, comfy bed. I'm, you know, it's a coffin. That's what it is. But just mm -hmm. like for a little bit. I don't want to die. I want like a little bit of a coma. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Medically yeah. induced, but like chill. Like yeah. three at, days. At home. At home. Imagine that. Oh, would I be could do three weeks, I think. Three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. 30 maybe 40. I wouldn't even feel bad about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 30, 40 weeks. Years? 30 maybe 40 mm -hmm. it's to each their own exactly tito it's <laughs> <laughs> really good grace thank you so much for <laughs> you, know. you should trademark that i That's well it's merch. kind of trademarked oh. Is, yeah. oh really <laughs> it's probably is it you by take you credit. Um, um there's this company out of austin that makes uh the good old stuff oh yeah but like, you spell it a different way t okay no. what do they make Tito's, the vodka. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh yeah, to yours is spelled a different to way. Oh, yeah. Tito. To each their own. Yeah, that's why I was confused. Oh, I gotta talk to somebody. Yeah. Somebody who's got brains and yeah. smarts. Yeah. Yeah, bleep it out guys... so that she can <laughs> trademark it. Yeah, take that. Cut it so she can have it. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> welcome Good back. Morning. To Good BCA. morning. Thanks welcome, welcome. Wait, so you've been going nonstop for how long? We just came from Vegas. Yeah, straight up. Love it there. <laughs> <laughs> it how long were you in Vegas? Two long. Days. Yeah. You're yeah, you were there for one day. Time. Yeah, you're supposed to be there for one day yeah. maximum. We were there for six days. And did you like do it for all six days? Oh, I, I went absolutely gnarly nuts. She won a lot of money though. She really? sure did. She lost a lot of money. How much did you money. win? Um, I won. At one point I was up uh, like, what was it like? Four grand, like, like almost four grand, yeah. But did you keep going? Of course yeah. I did. Yeah, I don't know my limits on anything. This is a very she safe winning. place. She kept winning. This is a safe place to talk about a gambling addiction, a soft, soft launcher gambling addiction. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have one. What are you gonna get in trouble at work? Oh, maybe. What did you play? We do really good with gambling. We're very, really we do. We follow all the regulations, and we yeah. call the number when we have to. Huh. But we don't have to do that yet. 
No, not yet. yet. Mm-mm. We're just There's young. No number in California for like a gambling addiction hotline. It's just like connect. It's all the East Coast states. Wow, that well, kind of yeah, makes sense. Though. I feel. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts and gambling addictions. Dude, yeah, I gotta get that kind of tracksuit. How makes good? Sense. I got Super us the tracksuit. Did you really? Yes. Yeah, because I actually looked it up this morning and <laughs> I got a text was so this morning. <laughs> I got a text this morning and I'm on an email chain with Ben Affleck. Oh, what's the tracksuit? A Duncan tracksuit? Yes, we're obsessed with Matt and Ben. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show you first. <sighs> we want to be them because we're from Boston. Uh, you guys they the really are commercial? so precious. Yes, yes. So. I just lied to you. I didn't see it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Can we play it? I think so. We're, we well, I don't know if you guys will like it, but we're obsessed with them. No, I love them too. And this I'm is the tracksuit. <laughs> is it sheer? I hope. Oh, it's, it's, jump, it's a jump. Okay, it's oh, like yeah, tracksuit. It's like a jump. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be. That's gonna go over really well i feel like if the two of you are together why were you dressed It'll as old play. people did i miss like the oh we had to do an ad okay oh and yeah. then they couldn't use any of the footage from the ad that Perfect. we filmed for nine hours so no. no we did it for nothing yeah uh-huh are they for still good gonna pay you the big games no. apparently trademarked no it is Wait, Wait, yeah the big game is trademarked no it's uh, you know the other the one. super we can but i think they... we can say the super bowl as long as it's not super, like... bowl, super bowl super bowl oh my god i've been dying to get it off your chest off your chest <laughs> oh, I feel scared. Wait, you couldn't say Did someone Super get her a cigarette? No, they brought us to like the NFL experience, but it was their idea to bring us right. to this like experience thing, and it was their ad, and they brought us to the NFL Wait, experience. It was just these people that we work with, and and then we couldn't use any of it. Yeah. That's so. You that's said horrible. Super Bowl? Too much. Well, they brought too us much logo. To the Super Bowl experience, and it was all logo, all NFL, all NFL, 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 NFL. Oh, and God. we just kept saying the big game, this is the really big, good, huge game. Uh, <laughs> Wait, we had to do that. <laughs> We had an ad for, I think it was Uber Eats, and it was the worst thing ever. And we were like, how are we supposed ever. to not say Super Bowl? <laughs> and they were, you can't. And so me and Brooke were like, I was like, Brooke, do you have snacks for the big game? She's like, the big game? And I was like, the biggest game. Hugest. The largest. Largest. The whole ad. Fattest. Tell game. me when to stop. Drake's dick <laughs> game. <laughs> the longest game. And Oh, now I'm and sad, Jess. <laughs> now I'm looking back like that was genuinely very funny, but I was like, how can I ever recover from this? Well, now I call it the big game. Yeah, the, big game. Yeah. the big game. It's <laughs> the big game. What is the Super Bowl, by the way? I've only heard of the big game. No, it's mm -hmm. just the big game. Wait, so you guys didn't go to the big game? No, we did not go to the big game. I watched the big game from a Vegas bed in a hotel That's room. Kind of Wait, nice, though. It kind of was. It was a little sad. And then drove here at like one in the morning. I watched the big oh, game from um, as, as much as I could see it from the plane as I was leaving. That's kind of a cool way to do it too. It was mm. epic. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like New Year. If I like I, the way I would celebrate New Year's is all the things leading up to the New Year's party, mm. and then get out of there before Ooh. midnight to two a.m. crowd is trying to leave. So that's just sad. Yeah. You got out before everyone's like trying to leave this the big game. Yeah, big, big I felt game, like an American horrible. Eagle. Yeah, yes. does the big game soaring. end that late? Oh, I was oh. sitting next to um, Stassi's friend Carter. Oh my god, <laughs> and Carter I was like. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever want to look at me again. Oh, I think why? he loves you. Mm, yeah. <laughs> he loves birds, mm -hmm. I've heard. Uh -huh. Birds of a feather flock together, brother. It's like Milk Boy said, those birds are hot. <laughs> You guys have your own language. I know. I'm so sorry. This no, is I early for us. <laughs> and we're like trying. No, I love it. <coughs> it's you fun to be, we can almost just kind of. You guys Interpret? just do the whole thing and then we can just chime in. <laughs> well, okay. you guys know I went, naughty. To, <laughs> I went to BU, so I like kind of. Oh, fuck yeah. Out. BU. Well, I hated it, but uh, I'm like, no, but I like Thanks. Boston. Love Boston. You. Yeah. You got it. We're back. Like this, yeah. 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 But we'll get your track soon. I'm kind of like feeling like it's bringing me back to, to that the time. Was anyone at BU actually from Boston? No one that I knew. Good. I don't think. Mm hmm. Frogs. I feel like they like everyone that was from B Boston went to UMass. Massasoit. Yeah, I went to UMass straight up. Yeah, yeah. Went to community college first. Oh yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smart way to do it. Yeah, that was the only way. Uh -huh. Guidance yeah. counselor said you can either learn a trade or go into the military, and I said I'm gonna prove you wrong. Your <laughs> grades <laughs> on the front lines. Learn, learn <laughs> I just picture you swallowing grenades. <laughs> no, Grace the blacksmith. <laughs> I was gonna say, what trade would you have gone with? Uh, I gotta follow my father's footsteps and stop plumbing. Yeah, oh, got a good yeah. ass crack, so yeah. it would be it would have been good. That's <laughs> good. good plumber too. I've always it's thought, like, never too late to be a plumber. Like, would not be like that bad. No, no. By great the way, money too. Yeah, yeah I was great yeah. money. Plumbers fucking kill it. The crush. Oh, what do you always need to shit? 
Yeah. For Always. Forever. forever. That's never going to go set. out of style. No. No. Not. And they're never going to upgrade that system for real. Mm-hmm. No. No. For real. It has to go somewhere. Have a digital flush do. No, you can't. <laughs> you know, our bodies are never going to work at 100% efficiency. I'm finding out right now in front of you. Mm-hmm. Are you like, having a problem? Yes. What problem? As huge. Well, like as, <laughs> as much as I, as, as early as I wake up and I try to like get my body working mm-hmm. before I come into the studio. I pull in the parking lot and I like Bluetooth connect to the toilet here at the studio. (laughs) And it's like my body's like, all right, it's time. And I'm like, no, it's not time. We have guests. This episode of Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast is supported by State Farm. When you get a new car or a new home, the first thing you might find yourself saying is, heck yeah. Or I can't believe it. Or how is this real? But what you really want to say is the one thing that can get you the help you need. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. State Farm is there with the coverage you need for your car, your home, and even boats, motorcycles, RVs, and other things that matter to you. All right, y'all. Adulthood is already exhausting and complicated enough as it is. I, I'm constantly talking about that, okay? There's, like, my medical bills, and then I have a freaking dog that has, like, all of his own stuff going on. Like, I have to take him to the vet today, and I need to go to the vet as well. Or, like... You know, I have to go grocery shopping too. Like, I gotta feed me. I gotta feed him. It's just hard. But luckily, one of the parts of adulthood that doesn't adulthood that doesn't have to be hard is insurance. Thanks to State Farm. With a State Farm agent, you know someone is there to help you choose the coverage you need. With so many coverage options, it feels good knowing you can find what works best for you and your needs. And when you need ways to get help, State Farm gives you options there as well. Whether it's in person or on the phone with your local agent or on statefarm.com or or on their award-winning app, State Farm lets you do things your way. So when you need help protecting the things that matter most, remember to say, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Anyways, what were you too. saying about plumbing? I osmosis my like, Jewish stomach to him. Yeah. Oh. I feel like fine. I used to be is like- Jewish bro- stomach a thing? Yeah, yeah, it's like notoriously oh. like bad. Oh no, Grace. Definition of osmosis. Osmosis is like it's a good question. Jones. It's like I tran- like kind of, of like Bluetooth, physical Bluetooth. It's okay. like you can oh. tra- like I think osmosis literally. It's like in cells when like things like go through the cell. Like, the, the movie. like a ghost can go through a wall. <laughs> I don't think okay. we Jones. Now that you mentioned it, I don't think we know what osmosis. I know what it is. Okay, it's I can like, explain. It. Okay, like, I'm not even being a thick. I'm trying to learn. Cellular Bluetooth. It's 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 uh, when cellular something can Bluetooth. transcend through like a. It's a transmit Boss. process. <laughs> it's a transmittable process. Transmittable process. <clears throat> this is truly the meeting of the minds today. No, I I heard it and I got it. Anyways, yeah. it transfers from one person to the other is basically what we're trying to say. I, you, okay, so yeah. Yeah. you Bluetooth. Because I I'm like totally fine. I was hashtag gifted IBS from yeah. Brooke. <laughs> That's straight up sweet, isn't it? It, it yeah. has been. Happy Valentine's Day. That's gorgeous. I have a story I have to tell you guys really bad before I forget okay. about oh, my experience last night. Okay. Oh yeah. So okay. I'm feeling like a little bit shifty and off today. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Which like yesterday we talked about we went on Jay Shane's podcast. And we were all feeling a little bit manic, but in a different way. Mm-hmm. I did six loads of laundry this week, which is What's insane. I did my sheets. <laughs> I was able to <laughs> I was able to transfer six loads of laundry mm-hmm. to and from all the way into my room. I and yours ha- is not, you don't have it in a unit. No. So it was $112. Oh, it's too much. Oh my gosh. You I need to outsource it. Like, you need to outsource right it. Need to outsource right it. now, I it feel truly like a veteran because people that... Like I'm on the front lines of like leaving my house with like a, a bucket of laundry and you also get your clean laundry and you drop it on the way out. And it's just like, I am I right salt now. of the, like, mm-hmm. I am, I am Thank America. Like I'm, I'm, li- I'm the American dream. I'm out there like working my ass off at my out of unit laundry mm-hmm. thing. It's hard. So I get into my bed last night after a hard day's work mm-hmm. of talking into a microphone and I'm like comfy, I'm cozy. And then I pull up Twitter and our ex, and I'm watching this little girl receive. Watch all yourself. Of Harry, all of the Harry Potter books. She's blind. Oh. <laughs> She's receiving all of to make things little better. <laughs> like, Grace, Grace went like this. That makes it worse. What are you watching this little girl for? And then you said she's blind. I know a lot of bad guys. <laughs> she's blind. She doesn't know I'm watching. <laughs> It's a video of a little girl who's blind receiving all of the Harry Potter books in Braille for Christmas. Oh, that's and I am adorable. I'm oh, literally are they double li- thick. Like they're, they must I be don't like, even know how she lifted. As how tall as me. Double thick. <laughs> she got, yeah, these double huge. Like they look like manuscripts. They're oh. huge, 
and they're in this box and she's getting it. She's like reading them. And I was like, <laughs> like horizontal. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, like chargers, like touching my leg. And then I'm in my head like, there's no way that like that's a bug on my leg, oh, right? No. There's a snake in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> there's like no way that's a bug in my bed. <laughs> there's no way there's a little freak in my sheets <laughs> that isn't me. And I lift up as just like as I'm my eyes are watery because I've been sobbing. And I turn and there's a spider on my leg in my oh, sheet. I, and I go I, and I hop out of bed. You just need to move. And I turn I know I have to move. Yeah, get I turn out of there. And it up. I turn on the lights. I can't find <laughs> like, it. I cannot find it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And then I'm like, now I don't feel safe in my room. Then you have to die. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> then I have to kill myself. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm like, what do I do? I'm searching around and I'm like, why am I looking for this evil thing? Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, because I need closure. I need to go get back in my bed. I have to yeah. go to sleep. I've got a podcast at, eight, mm -hmm. at the break of dawn, <laughs> yeah. the ass crack of dawn. Break of dawn, yo. And so I'm like, I have to sleep on my couch. So I, I like get into my couch and I'm Googling, like, what do I do if there's a spider in my room? Guess what the number one answer is? Move. Move. Incinerate your house. <laughs> like, there's literally not like a serious person on the internet, not, not on Quora. Not, it was the one image I got. I'm going to show you. From Cora, which is like meeting of the minds. There's an expert for everything. Suggestion: flamethrower. <laughs> oh. oh wow! Uh, yeah, it does seem like your only option. I have to get. You're gonna DG that shit. Oh, I have to get Yeah. Oh my god, I do have to hit up oh, my you boy. Always yeah, David. DD. yeah, he loves me, so that'll go over. That well. happened to me when that I wrote. Makes it all. <laughs> I just don't know how like I'm supposed to go on. So, so I'm not feeling oh, normal yeah. right now because. I need my eight hours. Mm -hmm. You didn't sleep. Couldn't. I was googling until t two a two three a.m. Anyways, I'm sorry, sorry I had to share that. Be with you and with you. <sighs> oh, speaking of being up late and also crying while watching a little blind girl. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen One Day? No. What is it? Actually, you might not like it. Why? It's that. I don't know. Do you like I'm sad, blind. like romantic things? Oh, I I will I like it. I don't know how I feel about anything. Well, it's. Yeah, that's completely fair. <laughs> yeah. It's based on a movie with Anne Hathaway. It's that new Netflix show with Leo Woodwall, who was in White Lotus. Oh, okay. The young, the young gentleman. Okay. You know, is... you know all the names. She, she does. She does. <laughs> she does. She knows all of the names. Well, it's like Whenever it's not I enough watch, for me. That's enough, you guys. I can't even understand how you well, know I, them I all. I need to like Nod. deep dive. Yeah. it's a big nodding podcast. You are do. smart. No, it's not that. I think it's it like, is. It's, like it's, it's a type of autism, I think. It's, it's an obsession. Autism is smart. I won. Yeah. 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 My test. She I won, won the, the autism test. test. Oh, good thank you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. She got a high Q. High, high like 130 IQ. something. Yes. Oh, wow. Did yeah. you take it? No, Everybody I'd else like got to, 80. I couldn't finish it. It was too long. Yeah. So that okay. says something, too. I think that's 80. That's 80. What? Back to Anne, love oh, one, one love. Oh, Bob Marley movie. Okay. That's good. Yeah, one day Anne Hathaway was in this movie. Like 2011, it came out. Can I hit that? It was. Yeah, go ahead and hit that. We can do cigarettes. I, th the I digital guess. ones. Yeah, I'll just hold it in so you won't see it on oh. camera. I won't. It's a crazy I trick. A do you guys vape on Plan Brie? Yes. Like cigarettes. Oh my god, I should bring my my weed pen. I want yeah. you to. Yeah. I, well, I, oh, anyway. Oh, I'd love um, to see you <coughs> high. Oh, well, I was watching this show so high. It is. Like there's so many TikToks going around of people sobbing and you think like, oh, it can't be that bad. Oh, that's oh. good. I love when it's as bad as they say it's, it it's, is. It's like tragically bad. Like cry. Well, Tragic she sent me a and Snapchat and I've n <laughs> I've never, it was like the bubble bowl coming out of her nose when that happened to the She's sobbing. Her, she's, her eyes are swollen. Well, I also knew it was going to happen because I saw the Anne Hathaway movie. It didn't, didn't even remotely prepare me, even oh, though wow. the same thing happened. Okay. Like nothing it is. Cry. I'll, I'll watch it, that tonight. It, there is nothing like a good cry. Mm -hmm. It is so, so Oh, we just sad. went to the Adele concert. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my God. God. I looked over. Ex. She was <laughs> sobbing. I had oh to go over God. there. Where, did, where was Adele playing? Oh, Vegas. Obviously. Odell is after. Oh, oh, Adele. Oh, wait, Adele Beckham Jr. is still there. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. Whoa. Straight up. She's done. Mm -mm. Oh, we've got to go. You've got, got to go. Okay. I, to go. I, I will go on a, just on a whim and okay. I'll go there and I'll fly back. Okay. Yeah, you should. Oh, I still have stuff in my purse from her show. Oh, my God. What do you have? Oh, my God. Things were flying from the sky. <gasps> it was incredible. Look Charts at this. Of metal glass. This is from. <laughs> is there an explosion? Y oh. Yes. So many explosions. <laughs> it was like, oh. Oh, oh wow. And oh, I feel like I'm there. There was more. There was more things, but I threw them on other places. Oh, Ave Maria. <laughs> 
What, what kind of things did she do? Oh my That's, gosh, she had a magic act at the end. I won't tell you in case you're gonna go. Well, She's gonna probably go. better live. She is. In, it was incredible, Brooke. You would love it. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Know I would sob mm -hmm. and my weed pen. Mm -hmm. I love Adele. I love when she pops out with like a little quip. Like she, she'll s comment on something. What did she comment on recently? Oh, get a fucking life if you care about Taylor Swift at we the Super Bowl. We were at that Bowl. show. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I forgot about you, Adele. Damn mm -hmm. straight. She, she mm -hmm. comes out. You forgot about Adele? I forget about Adele, yeah. And shame on me. I shouldn't, but like... Shame. She's one... She, I listen to Adele the same way like I have a nice cup of coffee on on a in the mountains like it's just like it washes over me yes and i i don't seek her out but when i remember i'm very thankful and she'll always be there for you she will she will mm -hmm. i saw <laughs> she's good, good like that <laughs> thank you you have a really that's good accent you. grace i do irish too oh my god yeah. whoa do it again that's it oh 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 i can do it oh, but here's the thing it's, it's valentine's day and i've got no one to love <laughs> wow yeah. are you of it's irish sad. descent um fully inbreded Fully inbreded Irish mm -hmm. on Irish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me, me too. Cousins on cousins. We're mm -hmm. doing Jewish on Jewish over here and well, we're doing Irish on Irish you know over I'm here. You know I'm 23 in me when it's like, oh, this person is your cousin mm -hmm. and it tells you like what side. Yeah. It just says both for oh. every cousin. Mm. Wow. Have you yeah. done 23 in me? Yeah. It's the same thing? Just about the same thing. I haven't done it. Do you know what you are? Hell no. White, I assume. Yeah. No. You got to be something. I don't think so. Well, I have I have like You're Native crazy. American, in, but not enough to get free college. It, <laughs> oh, sucks. Even though like my cousins did, so I don't know how I didn't. But you are twenty three and me, and, and find out. And prove it. I will. I I just did Max's. I should have swabbed my cheek instead of Max's and seen what dog I am. <laughs> I also have Neanderthal. Golden Retriever energy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. You have one. It, Neanderthal you came Neanderthal? up. Well, you know what? <laughs> you know what's like annoying? <laughs> what? Like me and my brother are like like look one particular way <laughs> and then my sister looks like she's like went through like me but like through a yassified oh. filter like <laughs> this big like gorgeous like thick hair like long lashes like like mm. beautiful beautiful Do you despise her sometimes it's just like like really it's frustrating when it's your own <laughs> blood because it's, it's blood. like that could have been me but something not. went like a little bit i get it I wrong got a, I got a but me and my like brother that. like don't look like her and she looks like that and she doesn't have neanderthal on her 23 and me but me and my brother do how did oh, she miss she missed out on neanderthal <laughs> yeah she, she not has a different any. daddy yeah yeah, yeah. Well, back that, yeah. back her great 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 grandmother was a loose woman <laughs> and fucked a different neanderthal man mm. i don't think that's how it works i don't know how genetics work osmosis, osmosis. osmosis. Right. Yeah, I, yeah she didn't osmosis the neanderthal mm-hmm I yeah. knew a girl that did 23 and me and she inherited a, a casino. She found out she was Native American. I don't want to fuck hmm. a casino. What are you going to do with it? Make a lot of money. I would sell I'll it. Steal I money. would literally close it down and then get all the money out of the slots. Yeah. And then open it back <laughs> up. But she was. She just found out she, that she was like part of the family that like owned the casino. So she's like just kind of sitting pretty. She works at the casino. And she's going to college for free. So. Oh. It, would, it would be a fun way to be like, I know what I'm doing for my birthday every single year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be Very fun. True. Have the hookup at Zook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What Zook? Uh, a, a Vegas nightclub. A Vegas nightclub. Yeah, just six days. You know me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you I, I prefer the win though. The win. Oh, yeah. I know a couple guys doing a doing a residency there. Maybe you a know, boss or something. I feel. <laughs> the, uh, maybe we could get you in. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. Ryan. That would, that would be neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, the last time I was in Vegas was for fourteen days for work. <gasps> Yeah, that's why I'll never what go back. What did you do then I have, for 14 I was days at, for work? Literally every morning I would get up and be like... For this work? I hope that like a car hits me <laughs> somehow. But no, for, um, for when I worked at Bird, the scooter company, oh. we had this big... Um, Collect them all. You know CEA? It's a <laughs> <laughs> Collect them you were the charger guy? <laughs> I don't even think they have birds in Vegas. Like it does. I didn't see it one. Was a bad you were the bird in the sky. That was it. Yeah, it's just me. Hey, guys. Hey. We want to take a break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, The Farmer's Dog. The Farmer's Dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food right to your door. It's developed by vets, nutritionally balanced, and made from real meat and veggies to the safety standards of human food. The easiest healthy habit to start is one for your dog. The Farmer's Dog makes feeding real, healthy dog food easy and convenient, and your dog will absolutely love it. Um, Max absolutely loves it. He's like obsessed it with it. I talk about it nonstop. He's obsessed with it. Like actually, I'm low. Yeah, it's the only food truly that has ever made him not 
Yarf. Yeah. I'm being so serious. And it also looks really good to me. It's smart, healthy pet food. You can feel good about feeding your pup. That's why it's time to quit the kibble, kick the cans, and start fresh. Traditional dry and wet dog food options are highly processed, can use much lower quality ingredients than they claim to, and are extremely difficult to portion accurately. The farmer's dog isn't just fresh, higher quality food. They also send the food pre-portioned specifically for your dog based on their unique nutritional needs. This makes it easy to help your dog maintain their ideal weight, which is one of the biggest indicators of a full, healthy life. Dogs at a healthy weight can live up to 2.5 years longer than overweight dogs. A fresh diet has been found to have all sorts of benefits from healthier coat and skin to better breath, even easier digestion and smaller, better poops. A healthy diet isn't just important for humans. So I have obviously been using farmer's dog. They are smaller poops. And when he goes on the sidewalk, which is nonstop, and there's people like with a stroller right behind us, I'm like, no worries, I'll pick it up, which was not the case at all. And literally, it is smaller poops. And like having gotten him from the pound, his hair is brighter luscious. and shinier. He coat. has the most thick, luscious hair. And he did gain a lot of weight at first when he was underweight, and then it he just like got to the right weight and it never went up. Which mm -hmm. is it doesn't matter if your dog is young or old. It's always the right time to begin investing in their health. That means more happy, healthy, and full years together. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at thefarmersdog.com slash BNC. Plus, you get free shipping. Just go to thefarmersdog.com slash BNC to get 50% off. That's thefarmersdog.com slash BNC. You know what was weird about being there for like, for work that isn't, there's no level of fun. Like I was, I was there to like literally do the convention, which is oh, just like yeah. you wear the same thing every single day. Mm -hmm. It's like a Lanyard. collared shirt tucked into it, slacks, mm -hmm. and all birds. Mm. I feel like I would like that. It like, sounds like you had so much purpose. <laughs> it was just like really pointless. After I felt like I was in purgatory. You know, I didn't even step out. I did, realized like day eleven. I was like, I haven't been outside. Uh, I realized that when we were there. Yeah, I didn't even know what it looked like out there. No, because where I was had the tram connected to it, which took me mm -hmm. to the convention center. Mm. And so, like any time I would walk down to the basement of my hotel, I forget what it was. You get in the tram. It takes you to the convention center. I'd work there all day. Come back to the hotel. I'd get like happy hour at my hotel, and then I'd go to bed. Yeah. It was crazy, up. but the worst part about it was like, did you feel guilty going to bed in Vegas? No, I, I feel like I'm doing something. I felt wrong. nothing. I felt like Vegas was a person in a friend group that like didn't like me, and I didn't like them. But they're they're friends with all of my friends, so I just have to like continue hanging you out have with to them. Be there, they're that was around. perfectly well, said. Well, and I was well said. Yeah. yeah. Every morning when I woke up, the worst part was like I had to be up every day at like six thirty seven, and go downstairs. I'd go to the Starbucks inside, mm -hmm. and there'd be people. Ripping cigs and drinking still, and I'm like, this is purgatory. Mm -hmm. There's no sense of time. It's all bad guys. Yeah, it felt like I was in jail. It's just sad. Everyone loses their house and their families, and yeah. oh, it's, it's sad. There's tunnels underground in Vegas. There's, way, there's yeah. same in New York. Well, there's see those. Yeah, we heard <laughs> those about, are crazy. We heard about those. Um, Why'd you look a broke? There's a. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at you. I keep talking and I miss the punchline. What was that? I said, Why'd you look a broke? <laughs> Uh, we just had spoken about tunnels previously. <laughs> <laughs> I stand with you. Um, <laughs> love tunnels. We're a big tunnel podcast. You guys sweating? Not I'm yet. Cooling it. <laughs> there's a, you there, sweating, brother? <laughs> there, there's, a, there's a documentary about the tunnels in Vegas because people go there, they lose their money, and then they, like, um, as collateral, give people their ID mm. and then they can't leave What? and then they end up living in the tunnels and then there was like a big flood are you being serious in the tunnels yeah there's a oh, documentary on it. I don't know what it's called what are the tunnels like what are they for I don't know why Vegas would have tunnels maybe Elon Musk gave up on his thing way to get to each casino 600 maybe. miles of tunnels yeah, <gasps> there's like a lot wow and they flooded the tunnels or there was like a flash flood and like a bunch of people washed oh, out. Oh, people like live in them? Oh they died. Like I shouldn't laugh, but. Wow. There's like so much of the world I don't know about. Me either. Well, that tunnel's nice on the right. I'm kind of oh, down. That's a pretty one. Yeah. Like, it looks like the Bellagio. This was my life when I was there for work. Like I was 14 kind of days in a tunnel of, of, the whole time. What do you do? Like in a way, I went through the, the tram system. A tram is a tunnel. tunnel. I'm sure if you went into the sewage thing, like you could probably end up in the tunnel on yeah. someone's couch in their living room that sounds nice 
Yeah, that's really it's nice. Fine. Thank you. Yeah, I wish we did that. Actually, yeah. You just have to talk to them, get to know them. They're good. Mm. I'm sure they're great. Yeah. yeah. The documentary you watch it, it's like, well, they're dead. oh, that's a normal person. That freaks me out. Oh, they're normal. I mean, like a lot of them are like, oh yeah, this was an accident. I accidentally ended up here, and now I can't get home. And I have nothing left, but I'm fine. <laughs> a lot of them are like, I'm pretty happy here. I have a good sense of community in the tunnel. <gasps> that's all I've ever been looking yeah, for. Yeah, we're I'm really looking for a sense of community. Oh my! It's like adult God. sleepaway camp. Yeah, which I've always wanted. Yeah. Oh, th- yeah. Not Maybe really, though. Did Maybe you do a child little. sleepaway camp? Yeah, and I had a hard time being away from home. But now I think if I tried again, mm-hmm. I'd be better. Oh, you stand on your. You could. You just host one. Yeah, we'll come. You will. Yeah, straight up. I think we should at least like do something like that for. I guess that's what like an influencer trip is. Oh, yeah, but yeah. This, this can be something <laughs> completely polar. Yeah, a cruise. Yeah, different. A oh, cruise. No cruises. I've never been on a cruise. I, I've never either. I have. I, I, wish, I don't want to go back. It? I don't want to go I've back. I've been on okay. one. How'd you like it? Um, I was. I think I was twelve. <laughs> did you find love? Uh, I think I was twelve. <gasps> and you I was, did. I found love on a cruise. Oh my god! Walk us through it. I was sixteen and I met a boy, and then I ended up m- going to college in Ohio for the boy, and I dated him. Whoa! Yeah. Oh my no. god! Love bomb. Crazy fuck. There's something he about. He told cruises. me he was. <laughs> He told me he was, how old did he tell me he was? Uh, 19. Yeah, I don't know. He lied about his age and we dated for three in, years. In a, in a wow. lower or higher? His dad DMT all the time out of a jewel pot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that? Is that the cough syrup stuff? Oh my God. That, that's oxycodone. Is- I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's is- lean. Oh, is lean. Like- he did like lean. Past, boy did he, lean. The boy did like. lean. The boy did lean. But anyways, it was a it was beautiful love story. It sounds really yeah, pretty. Yeah, you found love in a in a hopeless place. A lot of people really. find love on cruises. Yeah, because yeah, I want to go on a cruise. Because you too. I'll come think, yeah, Okay, let's go. I really need it. Lonely Hearts Club. Let's go. It's a thing of like. It's getting sad. I know it is, Grace. It's okay though. Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Having a crush on a coworker or a teacher. I mean, we talked about this yesterday. Same thing on a cruise. It's like the isolated space where like you're actually the most attractive person here, which amplifies you 10 notches like, yes. that's what I that's airport what it is. same thing yeah but what is that airport called? people are hot yeah i do think, I think that they're, right i don't know if it's just that they're your age your so they're hot is coming out or they are actually hot that's true i think maybe they are actually hot i think some of them are actually because hot. it's like hot people travel yes and, and they're walking things. briskly yeah. and they're like people looking around people. yeah hot people, hot people also travel. drive the fellas hot people also swim, eat, well, uh, uh, swim. <laughs> Catch up with friends. But I'm just saying, like, when you see like a good looking person like behind the wheel, it's like they become hotter. Yes, they're doing something what like is that. that. That's when I always wish I was and in a Jeep, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. A Jeep wave. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> there have been so many times where I just like have not thought about a guy that way, and then I'll see them driving, and I'm like, oh. You're the hottest person I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Mm-hmm. The fact that you can operate a <laughs> huge vehicle. Whoa. I've done yeah. that before. I was checking out some kids' purple shorts. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I blew a tire out. You like the purple it shorts? Crazy. I'm like, I've never seen purple shorts like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was right in crazy. front of him, too. It was my. Uh, it was our friend. Our friend's older brother. Yeah. Wow. Oh, uh, wow. So Did you really love your friend's older brother? <laughs> we were talking about that yesterday. No, well, our, our, our friends' older brothers older brother. mean. They called us like fat and ugly to our mm-hmm. faces and locked oh us in a basement. Well, oh my god, really? Yeah, yeah. But now they're calling the hotline, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. they have gambling problems. I bet they wish they had you now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can't have me now. They, they told. <laughs> they they told can. me. They told me. <laughs> they just give me a call. I'll be right there. <laughs> Fuck this trip to work. <laughs> <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> I have a question because it is Valentine's Day and all. Yes, I will. Hi all. <laughs> I love catch. <laughs> fancy dinner? Yes. I got my dress on. <laughs> I just put my fancy shoes on. We're all, Actually, we're all dressed. Right. <laughs> uh, Chris, you would be really good on like a like Love is Blind or or Love on the Spectrum. <laughs> we're trying. I'm headed there, I'm headed there mm-hmm. personally. Me as You're well. You're welcome to join me. You should take the test. We could do it together. Okay. But I feel like I also would do like Married at First Sight or something. Mm-hmm. But I feel like no. you'd be really good at that too. I'm so willing. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Married Sorry, at what First Sight. What's the difference between Married at First Sight and Love is Blind? I oh, thought that I'll was the same you. thing. Married at First Sight <laughs> is the first time you see them is when you walk down the aisle. I didn't know this. To them and you're matched by the experts, Dr. Pepper, the pastor, et cetera. Love is blind is the girl on Twitter. And love is blind is you're talking through the pods. And then you you get engaged when you first see each other, spend some time with your fiance, and then at the altar say, I do or I don't. Uh Do they they say I don't a lot? Mm -hmm. (gasps) Mm-hmm. I don't oh. know if I can mm-hmm. handle that. I could not. You have to say yes. You want to know what's worse? You want to know what's worse than the I don't? Mm. Them seeing you for the first time and being like, <laughs> mm. 
Yikes. You would never find I my would, body. You would <laughs> never find me. I would melt like the wicked witch in the Incinerated I would be. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to And then do there's that. sometimes in Married at First Sight where it's like you're at the altar and someone's like, like I can't go through with it because uh-huh. you're too ugly. Oh, see, I like the shows where you see them in the beginning and you, and right. you make a connection. That's, that's totally organically. fair. I that's don't a- think I should go on any sort of blind show just like for my no one show. Health. Yeah. Um, I've been. Have you guys been watching The Bachelor at all? We don't no. partake. Okay, I don't either. But I know Maria from TikTok. Perfect. My twin. Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay, that so Maria, fil- official apology to Maria. Fully wrong read. Normalize changing your mind. Mm-hmm. Team Maria, <gasps> thank you. Were you shitting on Maria until the whole like, internet loved her? Bandwagon. No, 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 no. I had her in my bracket. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Because she was entertainment, because you said that, I kept her in my bracket. And then... She does. She keeps finding herself in the middle of trouble, and I am one to say that, like, if you keep finding yourself in drama, like common denominator. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like, like Valid a point. science thing. Mm-hmm. Valid point. Like you're osmosising and magnetizing. You always think drama is a bad thing. I love drama. Well, Maybe drama when it's herself. negative and it makes people feel bad, I think is a bad mm-hmm. thing. Okay, that's. I love to do that. Kind of going out on a limb by saying that. I know, but um, official apology to Maria. I'm, I'm, oh, so now I'm, you love her. She is, she, there's, even though, like, she, de- I don't know if she's the cause of a lot of stuff, she's involved in a lot of stuff, at least there's depth, because a lot of the girls are like, I had an experience when I was a baby, and I think I'm still carrying that with me today, and I'm like, no, you, Mm-mm. they said you need to have something, it was like an SAT essay What's question. What's Maria's like, depth? Um, <laughs> Do you mean trauma? Yeah. <clears throat> but the, no, I mean, there's layers, like, she has a personality. A lot of the girls are like, I'm here to marry him and I'll do whatever. And it's like, that is not a personality. Well, You're just like, mm-hmm. eh, you can make it. <laughs> you can. Yeah. You can. yeah uh, again. Yeah. But like, <laughs> all the girls have the same one. And he, so he's like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, and then Maria, I think he's drawn to her. Cause there's a little bit of like, oomph. Yeah. You said you don't like drama. I feel like you're drama. Oh, uh, no. No. I feel like. There is a lot of drama around you. <laughs> around <laughs> me. I, I hate when people are mad at me, though. Like, I don't like when anyone's mad at me. Oh, I can't handle it. Well, yeah. I can't sleep. Mm-hmm. No It'd one likes like that. there's a spider in my bed. <laughs> hey, y'all. We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Me Undies. At some point in our illustrious love lives, we've all asked our partner the same age-old question that guys have probably been asking for a thousand years. Am I big? Well, MeUndies doesn't know the actual answer to that, or if your partner gave you the actual truth. (laughs) This Valentine's Day, they can help you look huge with their contoured pouch and ball caddy. Every Valentine's Day needs a Valentine's night, and MeUndies is your perfect thirst trap to get the mood right. MeUndies has a style for everyone. From all black classics to fun, expressive prints, MeUndies has a look for everyone. Try our sexy new V-Day prints, like electric hearts or lovebirds. Plus, they come in sizes XS to four, oh, extra small, as you know, to four XL, guaranteeing a flattering cut for everybody. I personally like to be a little bit more adventurous with my me undies. Oh, I know. For example, I absolutely love my Spider Man undies. They are just awesome. Oh, yeah. Me undies isn't just about underwear. Explore the lounge collection featuring joggers, hoodies, onesies, and more. MeUndies' signature fabric is as soft as a warm hug from your favorite sweater. It's breathable, stretchy, and oh so comfy, making it ideal for all day wear. I also have a pair of MeUndies from freshman year of college that I still have. They're so durable. Yeah, me too. They also use sustainably sourced materials and work with partners that care for their workers. Not happy with your first pair of MeUndies? It's on MeUndies. This Valentine's Day, good things come in big packages at MeUndies. Get 20% off your first order, plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash BNC. That's MeUndies.com slash BNC for 20% off plus free shipping. MeUndies. Comfort from the outside in. Are well, you Maria's- a bachelor girl? <coughs> no. Oh, really? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, we've never really liked it or watched it. Doesn't, it doesn't, like, I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me. I or- used to get a kick out of my dad, like, to watch it because he liked to watch the girls fight over the one guy. Yeah. That's yeah. totally fair. It was, it was, um, it was just crazy because my dad's a macho guy, you know. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he, he's sitting there watching The Bachelor. My mom's not even watching it, saying, "Why won't anyone watch this?" A with lot me? of guys like it. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing I love more than like a God, stereotypical ladies. like man loving reality TV. Oh, mm-hmm. it's awesome. I think that's one of the best dualities really of our is. time. I think so too. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're watering it down too much. I, I, I miss the OG reality shows. Bad Girls Club. Bad Girls Club. Mm-hmm. Like Big Brother's pretty good. Oh. All of those. I liked like, like Next and Parental Control. Me too. Me too. Do you remember those? Yeah. Oh, Free yeah. idea. Bring back Next. 
They should. Yeah. We would all tune in. Mm-hmm. Bring it back, please. Um, I just really wanted, when I talked about Valentine's Day, I really wanted to just, I'm curious, does anyone know, what the, why is a baby like the logo for Valentine's Day? It's Cupid. It's Cupid. I know, but like, What's the song? why is baby in This charge? country runs on the back of perverts. <laughs> That's what I was getting at, Grace. No, we're on okay, the same so page. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about it. Hollywood. I need to, can we look up the origin of Cupid? I know it's, <laughs> is it like Stop Greek mythology? Yeah, getting out of control. So keep, why yeah. was Cupid a baby? Everyone else is a grown adult. Why is Cupid a baby? Once Venus had a second son and Teros, Cupid became an older and sh- older and stronger. Perhaps Cupid is usually seen as a baby because babies represent the combination of two people in love. Oh. That's pretty. So his it's mother is hermaphrodite. Yeah. And it's not like he's engaging the in the, the love. Club. He's just not kind of hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Controlling Aphrodite. it. Aphrodite. You know? Oh, aphrodisiac. Aphrodite. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. the voice Oh my God, come that's from. probably the origin. Mm. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, aphrodisiac, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, you just like cracked open. Cracked the, the code. Wow. You guys that lost your brain yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm washing mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to say a lot of times when we talk, I'm like, do not let like Tim Dillon get a hold of one of these because he always grabs our like dumbest little <laughs> excerpts and I'm, I, I'm like, oh no. Do you guys feel sometimes like when you're talking, you catch yourself and you're like, I, I'm like the dumbest person in the world. The second of the day. Uh-huh. Yeah, but we don't catch it until it goes out into the internet mm-hmm. and then we then, see everyone remake our clips and make fun of us. Yes. Candace Owens starts yelling at us. Oh my God, what happened, what happened with that? She's yeah. a monster. I don't know. She doesn't like us. She doesn't like our hot takes. We are the problem <laughs> she got with a hold this of country. You. You're the problem. Us too. Mm-hmm. That's Ruins kind of like a huge honor mm-hmm. for her to think you're a problem. Like mm-hmm. that's when you know you're not a problem. Yeah. I don't You're like talking solution. about her because I know Sorry. that if I sat in a room with her, we would cry. Oh, crumble, crumble, crumble. We can't debate like yeah. that. I can't Mm-mm. do it. No, I, can't I never debate. said I could. No. I yeah, just said Some I people are, are born. She would probably be good on The Bachelor. Like, Oh, she would win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect example. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm uh, scared she's, she's actually going to come for me now. Oh, she will. Is Get that a knock prepared. On the door? Was it? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh I can't. I can. I could not handle. Bow and arrow, like, and just pierce. She's got a big heart. diaper. <laughs> Come on in, Candy. Yeah, that was a scary time. Candy. Yeah, I'm sure. Don't be scared. You can That's, fight. You can do it. I just like won't acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we. Did. Candace, I'm not going to acknowledge you, so don't even try it. Yeah, bitch. Okay? Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Get scary. My wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um. I had something to ask you that's like slipping through the cracks. Oh, Brie, how was the Grammys? Oh, it was um, it was fun. <clears throat> Just fun? It was it was fun. It wasn't as fun as I thought it was okay. going to be fun. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't as fun, but it was cool. It's a once in a lifetime. It was once in a lifetime, and I was like front row. You were you were in the front. All, we were like I just, so. Yeah, I, I cared we so far back, but we were far back enough that it was like I couldn't personally. It see was anything. fun for me because it was personally my favorite dream concert. Like, right, I'm obsessed with Miley Cyrus. Yeah. SZA, oh God. And then uh, yeah, it was just my dream concert. But everything else was just wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Like being around all those people, it was just like eh. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. It wasn't as exciting and shocking. I wanted someone to like, I wanted to overhear something Uh or like be able to tell you guys something, but I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like people are probably on their best. Yeah. I also feel like whatever we're in right now where it's like, I feel like celebrities know that that's what people are waiting for Mm -hmm. out of those events now because there's a phone on them 24 seven. They're like tight lips until we're in our car leaving. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they all do the whisper hand thing now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of Mm -hmm. the Golden Globes. The lip readers. Lip readers. Mm Mm-hmm. But it was fun. It was pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. I got a little drunky. Yeah. A little funny. Yeah. Yeah. We were, I was sitting there and then I was like, I don't want to, you know, it's like a formal event. And then like one of the people that had invited us was like, why are you so, so sober? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, like, me out. That, should I, I was like, okay, cool. Did you get drunk? Mm-mm. Me neither. I couldn't. I was thinking, oh, at the after parties we will. And then we walked outside and it, we're soaking wet. And then it like stripped oh, yeah. me of every interest at all mm-hmm. to keep like. I didn't do an after party. Going out. Yeah, we mm-hmm. we all went home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're all I a bunch so of relieved. suckers. <laughs> <laughs> you would have made the best out of the Grammys. <laughs> that no, was like, give was, me a call uh, next time. <laughs> I, I, was, I, was, I was on my feet like for every, like Luke, Luke Combs okay, comes out with Casey Chapman. I was, <laughs> I know, I was also like, like view farming Taylor Swift <laughs> while I was there for TikTok. I was like, whoop, she's up. TikTok post. TikTok post. But view farming. I was like, let's rake in Is those that a views. new term? That's really good. It came up recently. I was like, yep, that's mine. 
That's mine now. I'm going to say that. Because it is. Like, I'm like. You are a view farmer. Yeah, but I've like. Never met one yet. I, I realized recently, I was like, oh, like, this is something where I'm like, oh, he, this person is like inches from like Noah Khan. Like, and you're having fun with your friends. Like, I'm going to post that. It's funny. Like, yeah. that's, that's, that's why I'm personally at these things. You well, know? yeah, it's that's like, why like, we get invited to things like that. It's to like show post about the it. behind the scenes. Yeah. And it's like, okay, cool. They're having fun. And it's. It's funny, but yeah, it's like obviously I'm gonna post within the zeitgeist. It's gonna get clicks. I get way too shy. Oh, me too. I can't talk to anyone that uh-uh. I want to talk no. to, and I oh wish god. to dear god I could. I wish I to dear crumble. god, but crumble it crumble. Yeah. I'm really bad at this job because me I'll too, be like, right? oh my god, this is the coolest event ever. I gotta live in the moment. That's that's how I feel. Yeah. yeah, I know. I like put my phone, phone away. I'm like, everything. Oh, you can, yeah. like you can just talk about it on the podcast, yeah. and then it's like you've done your you've done your job. That's you're true. Spreading the gospel, but people want to see with their eyes. Sure, it's, unless you're the girl with the the new Harry Potter books. Right. Mm. <laughs> true. It's like I love some, you. It's like we can't. <laughs> you rock. I needed you today. <laughs> I'm so lucky to have Ryan. I love it. It's wow. so huge. It's so awesome. I, have you guys talked about the Super Bowl yet at all? Not really. Oh, yeah, can die into a big game. <laughs> I actually have not even a word to say about the game. Like, yeah, I didn't really. I don't care. Was it boring to anyone else? Did you? No, it's like the it's greatest fast. game of football. No, 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 no. I'm saying. Of I'm course, saying, it was boring. Didn't no, they no, go no. into overtime? And it was an epic history yeah, OT, making thing. OT wasn't it a was great only, game of ball? It was. It was like not even a game until like All the, the last couple night. minutes All the of the fourth seen quarter. Greatest game of uh, ball ever. Nah, I was left. I woke up with 13 seconds left. I was so hungover. It was fine. I was. I was just bummed that. It was like, it was a lot like the Grammys. Like there was, it was kind of like, oh, that's what I meant. It about went the by Grammys. without a hitch. Like, yeah, it, just it almost felt, felt like, like a three uh-huh. printed Super Bowl. I wanted like boom, boom. boom. It was like an artificial Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I guess when we'll the AI, the like the Lowe's Wizard of Oz. Mm-hmm. I was Marshall. gonna say, did anyone was anyone moved by the Wicked trailer? I don't like Ariana Grande. I was Eagle in the Air. Okay, mm-hmm. I, you were what? I was Eagle in the Air. Mm-hmm. She's in the sky mm-hmm. with Carter. Okay, mm-hmm. you were you moved by the Wicked commercial? I was moved because I think it was like the only thing that had any 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 substance. To color. It. There was lots of. It was colorful. It was colorful. Vision. It was kind of. I also like big production movies, and I also know that the scene in Wizard of Oz that they showed with all the flowers, the 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 director planted nine million tulips for that because he doesn't like CGI. I told you the plot of Wicked, right? What did it I've do? told you that before. Yeah, yeah. We're okay. gonna go see it in in New yeah, York. Yeah, we are gonna go see that. Um, I'm personally like so. <laughs> So ecstatic! Yeah, I love I it. Oh, I think I'm excited. You wicked girl too. Yes. You a Broadway girl? Yes. I only really know like Wicked and like the you know the top ones. That's like, fine. Annie. Like I'm gonna be Annie's uh, kid. I'm gonna be Miss Hannigan for Halloween. I already decided that. Oh, that's that. perfect. Um, yeah. No, I like the classics. I love the classics. I am like a big classics girl. I think Wicked was the first show I've ever seen that was my gateway drug me too and now I can't I mean and I, I had can't. the soundtrack oh, and my mom would sing really, it with me like, it's I really to. do you want to come when we go, go to, I, when, that's going to be the first time yeah. I see it <gasps> when can we do it when I'm March. there for shows yeah we are going <gasps> yes can I please come yes okay. yes please you want to see it again I would love to it's, okay. so it's really like the perfect first show I want to see it because everyone knows Wizard of Oz you feel invested in it you feel like it's made for you and it's just like such a performance yeah. and the music is just like so universally I like musicals on Broadway I don't like musicals on movies yep okay ding, that's ding, fair ding, you'll, love, winner. you'll love Wicked okay I was like I thought I thought the new Mean Girls was good and obviously, like, love Renee. I'll die for Renee. Mm-hmm. The crowd, when they realized it was a musical, I don't get why no one knew it was a musical. I refuse to go to apparently the apparently people they knew don't want to see musicals, so they lie and t- and pretend it's not a musical. I will be there if you tell me it's, it's a musical. I tell Brooke. I will be in the front row. You okay, I'm again. wearing my Skims today, <laughs> so I'm just adjusting to the the support. Mm. I call them my Kimmies. I'm you, wearing my Skims. Kimmies. Oh. <laughs> Skims twins. Shit. Yeah. I can pretend we're twins. I'm wearing a brassiere. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a brassiere. Skims brassiere. Yes. It's Valentine's Day. Well, it is. You got to be ready. Off. Yeah. Is a brassiere a bra? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds so French. Brassiere. 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 <laughs> Hot take, but like I wish we lived in the day of like corsets. corsets. We too. do. Do. No, like the like big, huge the ones dresses that would literally like, <gasps> like you couldn't breathe in them. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> we're literally the same, <laughs> dude. Right here, <laughs> I was, we should start I doing that. Like right here, <laughs> so doesn't hit the same. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's like Spread the your own the shtick. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Our shtick is we like once a day bring up 
poop or farts, and then we are like, why did we do that again? Oh, and then yeah. we move on. We've already brought it up, actually. Gotta get it up. I already checked the box. Or out of your bowels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. What up, y'all? We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ZocDoc. You know when you get cornered by that aunt at a family gathering and all you and you feel like you have to bend the truth a little bit? You know the one who asks, what do you really do for work? Or when are you getting married? Only for her to not really listen and just judge you? Well, you may have to grin and bear it with your family, but you shouldn't have to feel that way when talking to your doctor about that rash that really looks like your high school crush. Enter ZuckDoc, the place where you can find a book doctors who will make you feel comfortable and actually listen to you. And we're, ta- we're not talking about a few, okay? Seriously? We're talking about tens of thousands of doctors, all with verified patient reviews so you can make sure the vibes are vibing before you ever meet IRL. With ZocDoc, you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the ZocDoc you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients. We're talking about booking appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition you're looking for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 to 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. I have used ZocDoc several times. I'm an outspoken ZocDoc user. I most recently used it for my back, and I got in five, like the closest appointment to me Mm -hmm. because it was a specialist was five days, which was fine. And um, it was awesome. It was great. The doctor was great. He brought in like several recommendations for me to move forward and referred me to a physical therapist. Yay. Which is really nice. We're keeping in touch too because I have to go back for an MRI. Go to ZocDoc.com slash BNC and then download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash B-A-N-D-C. ZocDoc.com slash B-N-C. Okay. Okay. How do we feel? (laughs) Okay, enough. Enough. How do we feel? I I, I wrote down a bunch of ads stuff. Okay. Just overall... IMO. Chime in or you want to, because I have I, notes. Yeah. Is yeah. English? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, Can nah. I get the cliff notes? Nah. <laughs> I can't even Ads understand. Ads sucked. Okay. That's the bit bullet point? Yeah, We're talking about the commercials at the big, with the big game? The big game. I thought you were doing your ad reads right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. The com- no idea. No, okay, listen, I can help with on. that if you want. I don't the care. The commercials Your sucked. ads are my ads. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Timu I actually kind of rubbed off on me. And I'm like, wow, I never thought there was going to be a competitor for Amazon, Timu and I didn't realize the, in- it was a competitor for Amazon, but it is. I don't know. Is it? Wait, I just kind of think it, it is. It's, it's like cheap a stuff. website. I don't think I look up from in the Super Bowl until the wicked. Commercial. Well, Timu it's like... Timu, shop Not like, like a, a billionaire. billionaire. I was like, and it was all orange and okay. shit. It was cool. <laughs> it takes like it? thirty, yeah. maybe forty days to get there, though, right? No, I think it. I think, I think no. it's really fast because it's built on child labor. Children, yeah. yeah. They are strong. Which like we are not doing like, it. God, <laughs> I haven't. God heard forbid. Of it. I God forbid. God's feet. Those kids are f- quick. Tanks. Talented. They are pumping it out. Talented kids. Yeah. What yeah. Is what is it? It's like just a bunch you, of crappy shit. It's like Amazon. Really like, or like yeah. um, Amazon XGN for like it everything. Wish.com. It's kind of similar, I feel, but it comes fast. It comes really fast. Is it like household items? Anything you want, bro. Yeah, it's anything. Look at the top five things. It's okay. just really anything you want. Shoes, like lightning a deal. toothbrush, more shoes. Giant a bottle hose. opener. Okay. None of this Knee looks real to me. Some sort of I mean, crowd, I don't know why you guys beef. are getting so okay. Six pack of glasses because you need them. A uh-huh. gun, I think. Is that a gun? I think Let that is a, a huge gun. gun. Okay. Yeah. So you, there's something for everybody on Timo, oh. it seems. Yeah. You know what I am addicted to? How much to? is the gun? Um, oh, it's just a gun price. It's $5.47. That's $5 gun. It's, a, it's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. All right. It's, I like Timu.com now. Okay, so you liked Timu or you didn't no, like it, it, it? Like, no, I hate it because I hate anything. Like it's for some reason makes me like really panicky when I think about something that massive that can spend forty million dollars on ads because of how much shit that they're selling. I'm like, how much no. a Super Bowl slot is? Well, they bought four. Yeah, they had a lot. Okay, I must have. I Same really commercial though. Phone. If you're gonna commercial. buy four, just do a new commercial. Okay, and then the next, the runner-up, right behind them, 
Jesus and Scientology are really okay. just like spinning some huge. Jesus is rich. Okay, yeah, so loaded. I I took a survey and some people said they didn't see the Scientology ad. Oh, I was just in this area. Oh, I only saw Jesus. I only saw Jesus. Jesus washed feet. Jesus washed a lot of feet. Yeah, and what was Jesus I like trying to one. sell? God, just um, his dub yeah. soap, love, yeah, love, dub, love. Soap. dub yeah. soap his... for feet washing. That yeah. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh lord, like oh lord, because I was thinking like, okay, I feel like there's a larger message here, and it's that Jesus just spent dropped racks on this ad about washing feet, and I don't know if everybody even knows the story about or like or like the metaphor that is like Jesus wash feet, which is like the lowest thing you can do, which is like oh, and it, the message was not well received because it was like here's an abortion clinic and here's like a gay pride pl- parade, and I was like I think that. It's it really just showing all the things it. that like a lot of Christians are against. And I don't think there should be them. ads for institutions. Religion. Well, there, yeah, that was a big conversation, too, because it's like it has to pass yeah. a lot of FTC right. stuff. Hey, listen, we're the only country that shows ads for pharmaceuticals. Really? That's true also. Yeah. 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 That's true also, because I think that the whole Super Bowl is brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> there yes. were so many Pfizer yeah. commercials, too. It was crazy. You know what? I was really bad and should have been good. Hmm. Uber Eats. What was the Uber Eats? I like don't even understand what they were going for. (laughs) It was Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer and a bunch of other celebrities. I remember. Oh, because because you you forget things. It was like you forget things, but also like what? Yeah, shut up. I just like really didn't understand the connection to Uber Eats. Like if you're gonna have Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer in an ad, like do make it good. Make out. Yeah, like do something. Make out. Yeah. Yeah. Screen. Like do something good like don't yeah. have jennifer aniston forget who he is like that didn't make any type of sense to how me. could she ever forget right it just like, was like stu- it was also stupid it's more of an ad for dementia give, yeah give yeah it, that's given like the times forget your friends with uber eats <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't have to go see them anymore we'll come right to you yeah stay in your, your house stay in your house <laughs> don't visit them yeah it was to me that one didn't land i'm um, with you that was bad probably because i didn't get it here's one that didn't land for me mm-hmm. Volkswagen giving, Volkswagen commercial giving the long, long history of Volkswagen and skipping over World War II in their timeline. I didn't notice. Yeah, completely. I'm not. You can it's read like your own history, history, I guess. It was, mm-hmm. it was like 1939, and I was like, "Are we gonna do this?" And then it was like 1960. I was like, "Whoa, really? Wow!" Probably just be like, "Hey, we do electric cars now." By the way. <laughs> yeah, and then the car they showed at the end was so ugly. I was like, "I'm." I'm lost. Okay, I guess we're not doing that right now. And then it was like, Scientology. <laughs> Come join us. Curious? Yeah. <laughs> Take your Volkswagen to the huge- Get a shot. Massive whatever happens inside this building. Uh, that would be like- Matt Bang. Yeah. Of Black Mirror. <laughs> this is an episode of Black Mirror. Just like a like montage of all the Super Bowl ads. Yeah. 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 Like religion. David Schwimmer sends- Prescriptions. Sends Jennifer Aniston her booster shot in <laughs> Uber. Uber Eats X Dementia collab. Uh, oh, a- a- Apple thing. Vision. Yeah. Was yeah. there one for that? I was no, Eagle Scott. No, but, I don't think but so. Tim Cook was there and at all the after parties. Like he was at the same after party as David Dobrik. Tim Cook. Who's that? Makes sense. He's like this. The, he's like the new Steve Jobs. Oh, I was like, I feel like I you should level up. Yeah, <laughs> Not somewhere like safe. Is he? Yeah, decent wood. He looks like a turtle. They all do for some reason. Yeah, they do. Hey, let's see. Smart thing. A turtle with a lot of cash. <laughs> um. Okay. Here's one that pissed me off. Well, so yeah. Brooke and I had Hannah Burner on what two weeks ago, mm-hmm. she and loves. we talked about she's the best. Love. I call. Uh, sorry, I have a quick story. Um, I Please. called her when I was drunk. Because she gave me her number on the street one day, and I called her. I'm like, hey, "Listen, do you drink?" I'm sitting around with a couple of friends. And we can't figure out if you drink or not. Hey, that's fine. It's she a was, good question. She it was, was like, "Yeah, like question. every once in a while." Anything else? We know it's good. Oh, weird. I, I think we called both of you guys. Well, this is a safe yeah. space. We couldn't figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we had her on, and we were talking about um having like a judge judy and sending judge judy on like a tart trip and how like that would be awesome and hannah made a joke about like here get get ready with me to break up a family and it was just like this joke and then elf had judge 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 beauty judge beauty yeah that was crazy and that got completely lost because they also had the entire cast from suits and then megan trainer which was like (laughs) 
So random. She's fucking everywhere. She's every, she's she's everything everywhere all at once. Mm-hmm. She is. She's one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what is like Megan Trainor's in the Illuminati. Ever? Absolutely. Which one? Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Yeah, I agree. Fe- featuring or Charlie one. Puth featuring Megan Trainor. Let's Marvin Gaye. That one does not get old, unfortunately, for me. I don't know why I have such like erratic beef with Charlie Puth. No, we all do. Why? Me too. I don't know. It's that shaved eyebrow. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's his. Well, that's his scar from his, a dog attack. I think it's him it's just being like, oh, look. what, what <laughs> note was that? <laughs> oh, that's sad. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure. I think it's cool. Mm. Yeah, it's real pretty. Yeah. I yeah. just like wouldn't want to be like, imagine imagine a scary mood. Like, imagine a home intruder and you're in the clo- you're in the closet with Charlie Booth. <laughs> And then he like the, it, uh, the home yeah, and and the intruder steps on a floorboard. And he's like, "That's a G minor." <laughs> yeah, that's why everyone <laughs> hates like very, him. Pick me. Beep, 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 yeah, boom. yeah. He's like walking around like, yeah, yeah. no, I know that, I know like, that, we, I know that. We note. know. Yeah, we, we know, know. You know. know. All good. <laughs> Stop playing the piano. You're yeah. fucking. He's annoying. very talented though. Like, I'm oh, not good not for him. Sure. No, I'm not. You can be talented. Charlie would love to have you on. Would love to have you on, man. Oh, Charlie. And your eyebrow. My eyebrow. Hey, we. I would kill for your eyebrows, bro. Mm-hmm. You're so brave. On account. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Okay. So there's that. And here's one thing. Okay. One thing that was good. Mm-hmm. E trade. I will always love a baby that has a man's voice, like that an adult oh, voice. I kind of liked that. That yeah. will. That were. That will never not be funny. What? I'm just looking at your notes. Yeah. It's kind of all over the place. And there was another commercial that for like s- sour. At patch kids and it was like two adult men with baby voices i was like that's never not, not gonna like tickle something on my brain mm-hmm. oh I'm i actually fan. don't like grown men doing baby voices no, they weren't like i love you sweetie snookums it was like literally like i want to tackle like it was like an actual <laughs> sorry <laughs> so i want to if we were playing football against the shower patch kids ooh, ooh, we, could, ooh, ooh. we could tackle them easy because they're tiny oh that doesn't sound any like better it. than, sn- than snook uh, yeah, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> i don't want okay. to watch i didn't see that one it, I guess it was overlooked <laughs> by many, but I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was funny. I'm like, you can't. That can't get old. One thing I need to say across the board. While this was not my favorite in the moment because it brought out like the most annoying parts of the internet and the most annoying people, we honestly need to bring back originality. Bring back Puppy Monkey Baby or whatever. Like that was. It was annoying. It was a meme, but like mm-hmm. it was original. Mm-hmm. What is that? It was Puppy Monkey Baby. Pumpkin monkey baby. Pumpkin monkey I need baby. More, I need Pumpkin more monkey details. Baby. I think it was mountain. Oh, I will. Um, and it was like a thing. oh, puppy monkey, puppy baby. monkey baby. I have no idea yeah. who that yeah. who that young man is. I'm addicted to this specific young man. I don't know that specific young man. This is from Mountain Dew. Puppy, puppy monkin, b- puppy monkin baby. Puppy monkey baby. Is there Munchkin? a jingle that goes along with Puppy Bumpkin? No, I think he was just like a crazy... <laughs> puppy Bumpkin baby. Yeah. Puppy I think he was a crazy young man, kind of, on Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's not awesome. familiar with his Goofed work. Up. What did, does he talk? What does his voice sound <laughs> like? <laughs> just didn't, I think he was like making crazy noises. Oh. <laughs> well, Dr. Dew is <laughs> Sean White comes in. <laughs> Hello, Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. Sean's like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if he made any noises, but... That was that was kind of it for all my ads mm. on my end. What'd you think of the halftime show? I sh- I shan't speak on no, that. Speak. No, speak. Speak. You have a podcast. Yeah. You didn't like it. I love Usher. I love Ludacris. Yeah. Outspoken Ludacris. Ludacris. Stan, we have the mm-hmm. same birthday, me and Ludacris. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love him. Ludacris. Yeah, <laughs> it is. No, Luda was a 9-11 um, baby. I, I was left saying, oh, oh is that it? <laughs> oh. I thought it was good, but... You were blue balled. <laughs> blue balled is a great way to put it. I was so mm-hmm. excited, but I, I kind of agree. I kind of seemed all over the place. Mm-hmm. The beginning, none of their outfits matched. It felt like they just found them on the side of the street. I didn't enjoy it. Little but John. when it came out on um, rollerblades, I was like, "That's kind of." Cool. Did you hear about the girl? The girl fell. Yes, I saw checked all the boxes saying that she could do all do all uh-huh. the tricks, and she could not do all the tricks. I think that, that, that girl me. on TikTok is fake. <laughs> me too. It With looks a like a eye? fake black eye. Because she also did Sorry, something else. Women. She was. She did another like sob story about being an assistant at the Grammys. Mm. That oh, went viral. She, 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 yeah, she, she, Scar she, Girl point two five. Scar Girl. <laughs> yeah, <her> Scar's gone. <laughs> now. She's fake. She did another one that said that her grandma made her sign an NDA not to tell her 
fiance that she had uh, she was like a billionaire no i think she's a comedian her grandma. Oh, and she's really, really good yeah. everyone's falling for it but it's wow. not funny content no it's but she's no. a good liar mm. she's an actress. actress yeah she's, she's an actress, actress. yeah, actress. yeah, actress. yeah. Mm. we need yeah. to big in hollywood mm. yeah. um wow yeah i sure it was you couldn't hear him either what was up with that someone i don't know fight. The, yeah. so i put on my instagram story and then i got too scared about i didn't say my dance. public opinion yeah um no, it was good. Like, the music was good. At first, when Usher came out, I was like, whoa. At least, I mean, his mic is definitely on. He's not lip syncing, because that was, yeah. what the hell was that? And then Alicia Keys comes out. Mm-hmm. And that first note, I was like, did I imagine that? Because Alicia Keys is a gift from God. Mm-hmm. And then, did you guys see that they're now edited it. editing, editing it, yeah. it and reposting the official version? And it's edited. Like, this country's going to shit. What happened? <laughs> That's something that you just have to own. Yeah. Like that makes she it worse. It. She kept going and it was phenomenal. No, she was good. She was fine. It's just like the first note was was tough. Mm-hmm. But that's something I just be like, oh, LMAO. That do happens. Think, do you think Usher was going to propose to his girlfriend after or he had to after <laughs> grabbing did? a did like that? Yeah, he yes. did. I and they got that. married in Vegas. I get it. Like a totally. I think maybe it was a, he was like, fuck, I have I feel like you're on such a high after something like that. That was like you simply crazy. must forever. <laughs> like that's like a thousand bodies. Yeah. yeah. But then again, it's like they're performing. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, Swiss Beats came out, which is Alicia Keys' husband, and was like, she they killed it. That was phenomenal. I'm glad that I got to see that oh, in person. Man. Like mm-hmm. that's great. That's mm-hmm. secure in your relationship. That's huge. So that's given. Mm-hmm. But I was like I was in the like watching on my TV like <laughs> yeah, that was tough to watch. Delilah but from Lil Rascals. They were. They live were, performances yeah. make me like scared. It's scary. And I feel bad for all the people. I guess Bieber was gonna go out. He was gonna. There was yeah. never. No, shot. I don't think he was. I people think that was just people it. wanted him that to. No, moment. there was like a blind item that said like he wasn't feeling it. Like they have. So we believe all blind items. I oh, <laughs> I choose to. <laughs> really. Yeah, no. it gives us something to talk about. <laughs> I believe the ones I want to believe. I'm a gossip hound. I don't Me know. Too. Yeah. Yeah, what, we gossip. One more thing I'd like to say, Lil, Lil John. Lil John is supposed to be the ultimate hype man of any generation. Uh-huh. And he was giving the opposite of hype. He was giving uh, exhaustion. Energy. Yeah. Well, he, he was giving... Tired. He was giving... He's a lot. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of he thing. He was probably on a Vegas bender. Yeah. yeah, I get it. He just got out of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. I he think, just got out of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, that's, how they got, that's how they got everybody onto that stage is via tunnel. Mm. Yeah. Um, I was just, I was also shocked at the, the level of sweat from Usher's body. Oh, he can dance like no other. But That was, was crazy. Sweating. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was gyrating. Mm-hmm. He yeah. took a shirt he off. He not aged a day. No, he hasn't. He seems like but, he can do no wrong to me. He seems so sweet. Oh, he, he seems, seems like, like a, a great, great guy. guy. He really yeah. does. Yeah. yeah. And I don't have one bad thing to say about Usher. He's not a Super Bowl no. performer for sure, but he totally <laughs> is I think he performed. Man. I think he performed. Yeah, he gave it his all. Mm. The he microphone per- wasn't on. He performed, but the microphones weren't on for like anybody. I, I noticed like what the everybody kind of had like an iffy moment in the mix. Mm-hmm. Mm. Except Ludacris. Dude, Ooh, he Luda. sounded crisp. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, I love Ludacris. Dope. Ludacris on the verse. Um, I think it just got to come from like Rihanna last year. Oh, but God, also, yeah. for me, nothing's going to top like uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers and like Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. Which was just like Shakira. crazy. Yeah, a Shakira thing or like Lady those. Lady Gaga, ones. Beyonce. Lady Gaga. Give us a show. Yeah. I think it's sometimes jumped. you bring too many people in. Yeah, did the thing. Mm. Well, you know, everyone was pissed last year that Rihanna didn't. So uh, you, you, yeah, you no can't win. You can't win. No one's ever happy. I'm with not going to. I'm like over performances well. where someone's not announcing that they're pregnant. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Just like announce it. something. I'm gonna yeah, get, give us give us something. Yeah. I'm gonna be the first uh, comedian halftime show. I like. I'm that. putting that out there. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. What do you do for work? Minutes to stand up. Pivot. They should yeah. switch. Yeah. How about this game, huh? <laughs> the big <laughs> game. Bring out John Mulaney. <laughs> God forbid I say Super Bowl. You know, we're on NFL right now. I can say it. <laughs> Welcome to the it's big game. It's gonna hit. <laughs> I'm in. That's better. You, you get tackled like a streaker after saying Super Bowl. <laughs> Was the streaker real? No, they were clothed. I didn't see oh. a streaker. No, but someone streak- did run on the. So the streaker, I I saw online that. He made a bet. I saw that too, but uh, I don't think that's real either. I, think you, I thought you believe all I blind think, items. Uh, yeah, maybe I don't. <laughs> the man, the alleged man, came out and said, "I am going to put a bet that there's going to be a streaker," and then he bought his thirteen thousand dollar ticket and stri- stroked. 
That seems too easy. And he kind of stroked his that way across the field. Smart. That seems like too get easy the money. of a way to win that much money. I was looking at some of the uh, like the bets in there, and it was like very, very specific. And I was like, how is how are we allowed to do literal inside trading? And you are the person that's going right. like, to no, orchestrate literally. that. That's inside trading. Like I, they talk about the Gatorade color when they splash it down, and I was like, I could just feel. I, ask feel, like a I, guy. I feel like I could ask like five guys, and I'd find out what that color is going to be. There's not yeah. like every color available at that time. It's like someone puts the Gatorade into the thing. You the, can the ask the Gatorade yeah. guy. Yeah, is the Gatorade guy someone signing an NDA? Look for orange mm-hmm. around the stadium. So. Yeah, I'm confused by that. Yeah, yeah. See the Gatorade order there next year. This is my year to win big. I'm okay. betting a lot on, I'm sorry to circle back to The Bachelor, but like those people, like everyone involved in The Bachelor not saying a word about The Bachelor. And I know it was filmed a long time ago because they were at one of the, like that, like a concert I was at. I didn't even realize they were like on their second date oh. for like the second episode. And I was like, that was eight months ago. These people are definitely not having too much to drink at a bar and like being like, by the way, the winner this not bitch leaked? won. Yeah. <laughs> right? so I think you'd go to jail. I no. thought the winner was leaked. No, because there's a lot of, a lot of money involved in The Bachelor. Yeah. Betting that's true. wise. That's one thing I'll never do. Sign an NDA. I don't care. I've never signed one. <laughs> Have you signed? I'm one? not signing one. Have you guys signed, signed NDAs? I'm, all, I'm I, in- Yeah, but also like. We've signed one. Like. You're, like one. How, how strict is it, oh. really? You know? <laughs> how strong are your lawyers? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you have signed one. We signed full one. Send. We signed a full send one. What's that mean? Nelk one. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Come and get us, and we're all friends. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle will do it. Mm-hmm. Who's Kyle? A Nelk. I don't know what that is. Like, I think these words are all new for Nelk boys. Yeah. Full send. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're these Canadian Straight guys, up. and they Happy prank dad. people. Oh, fun! <laughs> and they have veneers, mm-hmm. and they fun. have um, women all the time around Latino yeah. girls. They like. Yeah. They got it going on. Live in Miami, and they bet and have APs. Okay. Right. Yeah. Just and right up really, your alley. They're really nice. <laughs> yeah, I, love I will it. say. Right oh, bro, you would love the Nelk boys. Yeah. No, I already do. Yeah. They sound fun. Yeah. You'd love their fan base. They go absolutely apeshit. Oh, no, I'm sure they love ladies. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure they'd love Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, bro, that's a vlog. Brooke and the Nelk boys take Wicked, Wicked. on Broadway. It would oh, be, please watch the show one day. Love You'll love it. I would love that. <laughs> um, I know. I want to like. I think it would be fun for me to like bro out with. With some the Nelk those. boys not would be necessarily perfect. them That's, but we like, could ease well. you in at the Barstool Sports yeah. office yeah I, <laughs> oh my I, god they actually yeah. like Broadway yeah. we work for Barstool Sports yeah. I'd, like to, I'd like to meet some of them it's like a compl- it's like a culture shock for me yeah. and probably for them too yeah, oh, it'll be yeah. we can make that happen when you come okay that would yeah. be that would be so fun yeah. we're Barstool not the sports so it's a good little transition yeah. there mm-hmm. yeah. and then we'll just have to full send you on your way to Nelky yes. I, my favorite thing on on Barstool Sports is like it's like you feel like you guys kind of led like a little bit of a rebrand in like a media company way, mm-hmm. but every time there's any time there's a post that isn't like a picture of a football, people are like, "What the fuck is up with this country?" Barstool Sports used to be pictures of footballs and baseballs. Yes, <laughs> and now it's not, and I'm mad, and I'm unfollowing. Uh-huh. They never yeah. actually fat yeah. lesbian off my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm still questioning. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's huge we could wrap Thank but you. i, I want to I, <laughs> I have to i want to bring up one more thing because it's so relevant to okay. this you three women here today Ladies, Ooh, we excited. did you guys see there's this thing coming out um i see i can't relate to this at all because we never had these but they're now doing you guys had snow days growing up right oh, yes. Where yes. They, yes. they would call off school there's some snow and your day your day is like that's it that's like it. you can focus on the it's a snowman day right mm-hmm. it's a snowball day you got to meet up with your friends or like have hot chocolate you know they're now because of covid they do remote kindergarten days you still go to school but you're at home thank <gasps> god there's no such thing as a snow we've lost the snow that day we live in the year that we live in and we were in school when we were in school absolutely like if we had to yeah. zoom in could never i dropped oh. out of college because yeah. of that my internet's broken you idiot like, like because the power's out. I'm the snow freezing. my internet I'm out. Playing the snow. That's yeah, terrible. That's no. terrible. And that's like stripping away a fundamental piece of childhood. I yes. truly you should be ashamed. That's mm-hmm. something I would like call my senator about. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. Protect protect our children from remote learning. Yeah. God forbid Entire they build labor. a snowman. What happened to us? Like we yeah. lived with snow days for so long, and it was not, like, don't fix what's not broken. I can't even yeah. relate, and I am. 
piss. I'm riding at dawn. Oh, yeah, you didn't for this. have snow days. And we had hurricane weeks. Though. Oh wow, fun. It was fun. Hurricane party. That was something where it's like we may lose half of our student body this week because <laughs> it was like not snow. It was like your yeah. house is gonna flood and there's gonna be a tree that falls on your dad. Uh-huh. But when you do have snow, you guys lose your fucking mind. It's like this tiny little bit. Right. Well, because I, I learned, I had a I had a big, um, it was a geography class and our professor freshman year of college was the local weatherman as well. Hmm. So he'd go into the... the uh, Is that like a small town thing? It was Austin, Texas. So I don't know. I don't know. I your think that, teacher was a celebrity. Like a local celebrity, That's yeah. Literally. And the class was like an intro class and this is going to be different if you didn't go to a big school, but I had a thousand people in my, and it was like an auditorium for this intro class because everyone had to take one of like six classes. 1,000 people in one class, not the graduating class that you were in? No, there's 10,000 in my graduating class. What? Everything's bigger in Texas. In college? No, oh, you're talking college. High school. There was. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're talking about college. We should, oh, yeah. talking about oh, high school. I thought it was talking about high school too. I, was, I know, yeah. but I learned that was about the, that was shell shocking. Like, wow. A little bit. Well, I had a thousand in my graduating class in in high school and ten thousand in my college. Okay. At UT. How many in high school? A thousand. Yeah. Oh my god, I had a ninety-five. It's very yeah. much Friday night lights. Used to be ninety-six, Texas. but one guy got expelled because he stole like everyone's phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like a no one was safe. He stole ninety five phones. <laughs> Whoa, that is awesome! Money. He stole everyone's phone. What did, what did, did he, he get you? With them? How old he got he? me. Oh my gosh! He got me good. Oh, wow. <laughs> how old is he? How how old? He was got he? expelled senior year. It was senior year of high school. <gasps> what was he, he doing? doing? How many a year did he take? It was all in the same week. <gasps> oh, he was busy. He made it like four days, <laughs> and then retire. yeah, yeah. yeah that's and a everyone lot. got their phones back. He didn't do anything with them. Oh, he was a prank. Yeah, it was senior year. Prank. Oh, was a, no, he, prank. he had intentions. You met the milk boy. He had intentions. <laughs> of, oh yeah, of you of got an introduction to full set. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> Yay! I that actually, is, so he was he was hunting for the thrill of it. What's crazy is like the everyone thrill since thrill. my school was so small, we were all together from like pre K to twelfth. But he randomly just like showed up and junior year <laughs> to steal your phone yeah like he must have been plotting that for so long and then just wow. head, head it out what i was going to say about my Sorry, professor yeah. that was a weatherman <laughs> yes is that like he would go when when it would snow a little bit he told us he'd go in the morning do the weather come to class like right after because it was a 9 a.m oh, or an 8 a.m something and he said that the way that they do it in texas where they call off work in schools is if three people are hospitalized from either like frozen ground because People We're just not built like mm. it. Oh, once yeah. you find that out, you get three of your buddies and you stick. I your said I will. Yeah. I will yeah. tiny bit of snow. Oh, yeah. I'm I got like, frostbite. <laughs> I'm gonna fall no really class. hard and break my arm so that no none of my campus has to go to school. Oh, that's a right. hero. That's on some hero Harder. shit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You could say that. Mm-hmm. You could say that. Speaking of your um your your uh, class clown here, I lost class clown to uh, somebody who dropped out. It really sucks. Wait, you? I just had to get that off my chest. You oh lost class clown. To Thank you for sharing. Dro- so they, they dropped that after they got it. So they 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 won the award of class clown, and they got to fucking prance around all year with that title because we did it, did it at the beginning of the year. Oh, and wow. then uh, three quarters of the way through, they they uh, they said school isn't for me, and so the title was lost. And they didn't recrown. That's all I ever wanted. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. were you at least runner up, or you don't know that? I guess we'll never know. You were runner up. Just say yeah. I'll show her at the friggin' mm-hmm. Super Bowl. Yeah, the Super big Bowl game. 67. Mm-hmm. The big game, 67. Mm-hmm. We had to pick our own superlatives. Brooke went to like a very special school. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. you picked your, you yeah. picked, you picked I had yours. To, we, I picked my own most. Everyone got one. Everyone picked their own, yeah. So and it's yours. So, like, so horrible. What was it? It was most likely to be married to all five members of One Direction. Oh, let's go. No, Stan. That, that's I mm-hmm. like it. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. you. It aged. It aged well. Mm-hmm. There's still time. time. Mm-hmm. Oh God, time. yeah. Of course, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's that's just very like, like a progressive wow. thought. Yeah, and yeah. that quote was from Diverse. Scott Disick. Like, I wish someone had <laughs> told me, like, just like be a little bit more classy. <laughs> it's timeless. That's yeah, yeah, it's, that's yeah. timeless. What was yeah. your quote? I forget. Mm. But it was something. Maybe it was like Chloe or something. It doesn't matter, Grace. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. doesn't. Fuck high school. Fuck high oh, school. High school's forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brianna won best hair. She sure did. Oh. oh. Yep. You yes, do great I did. hair. I did. Oh, I don't anymore. I burnt it all off, but I sure did in high school. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think you have beautiful hair still. Thank you, Brooke. I'm You're going bald. Color. That's okay. Yeah. Take biotin. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
and get up. Scalp surgery. I'm using that. Um, take your scalp off. Rub your massage oil. Your brain. Oil. oil. Castor oil. Yes, they massage it and put it back in. Yeah. Oh. Like it's Men. Yeah. It's minimally invasive. We're just going to remove your scalp quickly and then we'll throw it back we on. Wear a helmet for a week. I yeah. would get a hair transplant if I didn't have to go bald first. But you don't. Don't you? Don't no, you I just think have you have to shave your whole head off first. No. They just move some follicles they do, forward. They do back. They take the back and they put it on uh, the front. I do think that they Well, that's for like boys, though. Or back, which <laughs> I kind of wish My you would do. It in a, <laughs> do it during beanie season. Ooh, yeah. So ugly in a beanie. No, adorable. You can, it. You can, is it crochet or knit? It's knit. The, I knit this, okay. yeah. I am so proud of you with all of this stuff. I know. Oh, my God. I love much. looking at you what have you have a knit. talent, and I get so excited to see what you're going to make next. We had like an art contest recently where people made like Brooke and Connor art, and I realized like how fugly all my stuff is. They made that compared like, behind to, you guys. Like, that oh, wow. Was, like, tapestry. You guys are talented. Like, it, I look, my stuff looks like a first grader made it. But no, like, that sweater mm-mm. was beautiful. Don't stop selling yourself short, bro. Oh, thank you. And agreed. start selling them online. I'm purchasing. Okay. I would. Thank I think you. I, try. I can't follow your instructions. Piece. I just sweet. simply can't. No, it's not. It's you are so on theme today. I know. Well, this I've had forever. Okay, so, and your nails. But I my noticed. nails. Yeah, I painted my own nails. <laughs> Wow. I don't. I don't like Valentine's Day, so I don't know why I went this hard. It's, it's, but it's changing the mindset. Of yeah, I'm I was, black. I'm reclaiming. Oh, I yeah, real. I was literally gonna <gasps> ask our uh, makeup artist if I should be like a big fat little baby. Oh, you should have. <laughs> like with my stomach out and stuff, and then I. Oh, there's always next year. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or I could just like do that randomly <laughs> one day, and just like be Cupid. Yeah. yeah. Be funny. You could have like yeah. a bachelor on. Oh my God, we could. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I can't. You could I be, be the bachelor. bachelor. No, we should have Maria on when she wins. Okay. I got a lot of money. On I need to watch. On Maria. Need to watch her. Okay. Well, we've been we've been going on far oh, too. We we went we've been yap going on, city. We've, we've been going on oh, far too long. Oh, we love to yap. Okay. We, thanks yeah. for oh yapping. Well, with thank us, you guys, guys so much for coming. This was a goddamn yeah, pleasure. It thank really you was for letting us into your your Layer. library abode. I love it here. No, oh, thank, thank you guys you for, for coming. coming. And this... we'll we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. So. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Catch you on the flippity flop. Catch you on the flippity yeah. flop. Yeah. We have to come up with we more things to talk luckily about we tomorrow. Keep going forever. I yeah, that was good. That was easy. We got to stop now because we got to save our own asses. We have to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my skims are. Ooh, making you, me okay. have to pee so bad. Okay, okay it's time well, to go. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, guys. you guys. We love you guys. Love you. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye, all. This week on Close Friends. Is it aphrodisiac? I'm serious. Like, I, oh, it's not an aphrodisiac. Kissing and hugging, isn't it? It doesn't make you want to have sex? Not necessarily. Would you eat plums off of someone's stomach or tits? Yes. Would you? Yes. I'm mortified. I want to crawl up into my own butt and die. Are you having an issue with IBS? There's a hotline for that. And it's just Brooke's phone number. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.